Do you want to uninstall Microsoft Edge from your Windows 11 PC? In this video, you will see how to remove Microsoft Edge completely from your Windows 11 PC. Install a different browser first. Before you try and uninstall the Edge browser, you should install a different browser like Google Chrome or Mozilla Firefox. If you don't have an alternate browser, after uninstalling the Edge, you won't be able to browse the internet. So it is essential that you use the Edge browser to download an alternate browser first. Use Revo Uninstaller to uninstall Edge. To uninstall Microsoft Edge from your Windows 11 PC, you need to download the Revo Uninstaller. Search for it on the internet, go to its website, then go for the free version and download the installer. Now install it. Once the program is installed, launch it. You will see all the installed programs listed here. Now scroll down and look for Microsoft Edge. Select it and then click on the uninstall button. Here we will see the confirmation dialog on which you will see an option to create a restore point before uninstall. It is selected by default, which you should leave selected because a restore point will help you to restore the PC if anything goes wrong. Now click on continue. Select advanced here, then click on scan. It will scan for the edge components that are going to be left behind. Here you will see several leftover registry items. Here, if you select my computer, it will select all the leftover items that you can delete. So click on delete and it will delete all the keys. Next, it will check for leftover files and folders. You can select all and delete them. It is going to take some time as there are several items. Once the process gets completed, it will ask for a restart to delete the remaining files and folders. Click OK and close everything. Then restart your PC. Remove leftover folders. After restarting the PC, go back to your desktop. Open the file explorer, then open your system drive, that is C drive, then open program files x86. Now open the Microsoft folder. Here are the few folders that are left. So we will delete them. Now let's remove the shortcut from the taskbar. Right click on the edge icon and select unpin from the taskbar. Now let's check the start menu. If the edge icon has been removed, then check the installed program list to see if the edge is removed. Disable edge in system apps. To make sure that Edge doesn't come back, we will disable it in System Apps. So, we will open File Explorer, then go to the System Drive, open the Windows folder, then open System Apps. Now locate the Microsoft Edge folder and delete it. Then here below, we have the Edge DevTool client that we will delete also. Disable Edge in Task Scheduler. Now let's disable the edge in the task scheduler. Click on the start menu, then search for task scheduler, open it. Now here we are going to make sure there are no entries for Microsoft Edge so that it won't update automatically. So we will click on task scheduler library, then here we will check if there are entries for Microsoft Edge. If there are any, we will select them and disable them. Similarly, we will check the Microsoft section here. Disable Edge Installation from Updates. We will open the Registry Editor. You can press Windows plus R button, type RegEdit and hit Enter. Here we will expand the H key local machine, then Software Microsoft. Here I will check if there is any key mentioned as Edge Update. If there isn't any, I will right-click on Microsoft and create a new key, naming it as Edge Update. On the right-hand side, I will right-click and create a new DWORD 32-bit value. Now name it as Do Not Update to Edge with Chromium. Hit Enter. Then double-click on it and set its value to 1. Then click OK. The key we just added stops the Windows from installing Edge during an update. 
so now Edge won't come back when you install a Windows 11 update. That's it for this video. If you have any questions or suggestions, drop them below and share this useful video with your friends. Like the video and subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to press the bell button to receive alerts for videos on Windows tips and tricks.